Awesome. Thank you, Maggie. Everyone, thank you so much for being on. It looks like we have Carl from New Jersey, Lisa from Nashville, Crystal, Drew, Evelyn. Evelyn, love your name. That's the name of my mom. So my mom's name is Evelyn. So love that. We have a ton of people. I have to scroll up here. All these names coming in. Cheryl, Sherry, Alicia, Chuck, Dennis, Joseph. Everyone, guys, across the country, really appreciative for you guys jumping on with us today. I usually start my webinars off by just saying, look, th I'm super thankful that you're willing to spend the time today with me. And I know as an entrepreneur and a salesperson, look, time is our only resource that we really can't get more of. So where we focus our time, obviously that's where our results are gonna come from. And I know that what you're gonna learn today about geographic farming, if you put it into implementation, can change the game for you in 2020 from a lead generation standpoint. It's hard to believe it's 2020. We had our quarterly meeting today. So our first quarterly meeting for Reminder Media for the year. And one of the things that I told, we have a staff of about 220 people here at our corporate headquarters in King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. And one of the things that I told them is I said, I want 2020 to be the year of clarity. Think about it this year, or this way, the 2020 vision. I want all of you guys to just have a 2020 vision about your business, meaning you have complete clarity of when you wake up, what you're doing, what your goals are supposed to be, because I'm so tired of business owners suffering through being on the hamster wheel. Maggie talked about the podcast that we do, and I got the privilege of interviewing Tom Ferry yesterday on the podcast. And, you know, I was just sharing with him that, you know, one of the things that pains me so much as I work with agents and I work with business owners is just the constant state that they feel they're on the hamster wheel. And my passion is to give them clarity and what they're doing and give them a vision for where they want to go and help them really reverse engineer how to get there. I hope all of you have set your goals for the year. Go ahead and chat in, because I want to make sure you guys are with me. Go ahead and chat in. Have you set your goals for 2020? Do you know how many transactions that you want to get in 2020? Go ahead and chat that in if you have. I want to see kind of engage the audience. It looks like Dennis has, Jessica, Kathy, a bunch of people chatting in. Write down those goals. One of the things that impacted me in my life is when someone said that most people write down their goal once a year but they write down their goal two times a day. And what you focus on gets done. Tony Robbins teaches where your focus goes, your energy flows. And what I wanna share with you today, I'm gonna to introduce this real quick, but I wanna share with you a way that can help you get to that transaction goal you have. I actually have someone on there, it looks like their transaction goal is 72, one person's 20, 65 deals. So I wanna show you a lead generation strategy that can help you hit that transaction goal. We have a ton of clients on the line. Thank you so much for being clients. We also have people that have probably never heard about Reminder Media before, or maybe you've seen our ads or seen some of the content that we produce, but this is the first webinar that you jumped on. Just to introduce myself, my name's Luke Acree. I'm the guy smiling at you right there on the screen. I'm the president of Reminder Media. For those who don't know about Reminder Media, Reminder Media, we are a marketing company. We've been in business for 16 years. And what I tell people is that our passion is that we want to help you connect with the people in your database. Maybe you call it your community, for lack of a better word to say it. That they have such a strong relationship with you, meaning you get those people in your database and your community to know you as the real estate agent of choice, to like you, and to most importantly trust you as the authority on real estate so when the time comes like think about it this way if your neighbor two doors down from you right now woke up today and thought to themselves i want to go buy an investment property or hey i need i just got a job promotion i have to actually now move would your name be the first name that pops into their mind and that's our ultimate passion. We work with real estate agents. We'll work, we, in 2019, we worked with just about 38,000, just over 38,000. This year, our goal is to help 50,000 real estate agents connect with their clients, connect with the people in their community at a relationship level. Most of you know we do that through American Lifestyle Magazine. It has been unbelievable for us because of the impact that it creates when our clients send it out to their clients as a gift. They get text messages, phone calls. It's something that they send out that they know is high quality, but they can also not have to worry about it. It goes out every two months. 
But as I've been in this business for so long and I've been on this journey of helping entrepreneurs, look, if your goal is 100 deals, I do, I do a webinar on referral and repeat business and I break down the statistics, not what Luke Acre says, but I break down what the data says of where do the listings come from, from the National Association of Realtors. Where does your National Association, when they track the data, and it shows in this webinar that literally 64% of all listings, when they source to where that person found their agent, they found their agent through referrals. And so that 100 deal transaction that you have, when your goal is 100 transactions, well, 64 of those should come statistically from your referrals, from your repeat business. We want to help you do that through American Lifestyle. But guess what? I don't want you to just survive with getting 64 deals. I want you to thrive even more than 64 deals. Some of you are thinking, man, if I just got 64 deals, that'd be amazing. But I want you to hit that goal of 100. That's 36 other deals you got to come up with. Where are you going to get those deals from? And then also, how do you keep feeding that database? That you know, database is your critical point in your business. How do you keep feeding it so you can keep getting more and more people to give you referrals? And postcards, or I should say farming, has really been an incredible way for us to do that. And I'm going to teach you how to do that today. What I want to do is I want to teach you about the principles of farming, how to choose a farm, when you're thinking about farming, what you should go through. Then I want to walk you through the strategy that we have used using postcards. I've tried this with my brother in his business. I've tried this with other agents. I've read up on this. I want to walk you through where we get return on investment and show you what you can literally implement to help you capture more deals to get you to your goal. So stay with me. Let's stay and let's talk about farming real quick. Because there's the number one thing you have to understand about farming before you jump into it is farming is a long-term game. So all of my people on the webinar right now, if you're not willing to commit to the long-term with farming, you should probably just leave the webinar right now. I don't want anybody to jump off, but I got to be really, really direct with you that farming is a long-term game. Meaning just like the farmer has to till the soil, plant the seed, water the seed, do the weeding, pruning the plants, waiting for the harvest. Farming is the same way and it's so critical that you build your foundation on the standpoint of consistency because so many people spin their way out of the business so slowly. And I'm going to drive this point home throughout the webinar. But you need to know that farming is a long-term game that you're getting into. And I always tell people you should commit to farming for at least a year. You should at least a year commit to farming before you're judging yourselves on the results. There's two types of farms that you can go after. You can go after a geographic farm or you can go after what I call as like a niche farming or a demographic farm. So most of my agents that I work with tend to focus on the geography. And so from this standpoint, what you're looking at is you're going, hey, look, there's a zip code I want to target. I want to be the dominant force in this area. Maybe it's the neighborhood that you live in. And so you go and you get the data for that area and you start actually mailing to that area or reaching out to that area consistently. The other way you can go about it is going after like a niche. So some of you might want to focus on luxury homes, right? You might want to be the person that sells the million dollar plus homes or whatever it is. And so you start targeting your farm based upon the demographics of the people you're going after. Now you can do geographic farming, but also add niche farming on top of it. And so give you an idea, let's say you take a neighborhood, right? That you want to go after, but you don't want to sell necessarily every home in that neighborhood. You want to sell the homes that are worth $250,000 or more or you want to target the people in that neighborhood that have lived in that home for seven years because you want to go after the people that are most likely to move so there are people that combine hey I want to go after this area because it's local to me it's convenient it's easy I can get in there and do open houses I can get in there and do events all these creative marketing things you can do with farming but you also want to layer on because maybe you want to control the listing price that you're getting from the farm you're going after so you want to focus, there's two types of farms, geographic farming and demographic farming. So right now, I want to ask people real quick, how many of you guys are currently farming? How many of you guys currently use or go after a farm right now in your business? So Maggie's going to put a poll up on the screen. If you can just take a second, 
fill out that poll so I can see and kind of gauge the audience how many of you are currently doing farming or how many of you want to start. All right, so let's go ahead and show the, the results from this and let's see if I can pull it up here on GoToWebinar. So awesome, it looks like we have a decent split. It looks like 58% of you are currently farming and 42% are not. Awesome, okay, so we have a, a, a a split so here's what I'll do is I'm gonna to try to focus to make sure that you guys can actually see okay if you're currently doing farming you're obviously maybe not getting all the results you want out of farming what are the principles you need to apply and how can you double down to actually get the results and make sure you're getting ROI that you're looking for and for those who don't have a farm I want to teach you real quick hey what should you look for in choosing a farm now actually it's, it's funny it's kind of you know fortuitous, I guess, that I was interviewing Tom Ferry yesterday on the podcast, and we talked a little bit about farming, and we talked a little bit about, you know, what are the things he looks for when choosing a farm, and he mentioned an agent that he works with and he coaches. This person does millions of dollars in GCI. They do it purely from farming, and one of the things that him and I were discussing and talking about was this idea of your influence or the influence on a farm area. So what that means, one of the things you should look at when you're going to choose a farm is how much competition is in this area already. So if you're choosing a neighborhood, if you're choosing a certain farm to go after, how much competition is there? And you wanna to try to find an area maybe that doesn't have a ton of competition or that you already have influence in. So what do I mean by that? Well, a really great exercise for all of you to do is use Google Maps and go ahead and take the addresses of all the listings that you've sold, go ahead and upload that into Google Maps so they can pinpoint for you all the homes you've sold on a map. And what you're gonna naturally see is you're gonna naturally see where you are starting to have influence. When you take all the transactions you did last year or the last five years and you start putting them on a map, you're gonna see where you naturally already have started to farm and start having influence and maybe you can double down in that area. So try to choose a farm where you already have influence, where you already have some of the soil tilled for you, or choose a farm where there's not a ton of competition. So, so my agents in really big cities, it's gonna be hard for you to choose farms that don't have a lot of competition. So you're gonna to have to just push through and actually consistency is the key to farming, frequency. So you're gonna to have to go the extra route of frequency. But one of the other things you wanna look at when choosing a farm, is how many households are in your farm that you're going after. And this is a common mistake I see with new agents because they don't have a lot of budget. And so they go after and they create a really small farm. And they have like 75 homes they're farming or 50 homes they're farming. And there has not been a lot of success in the agents that I've worked with because you got to understand that farming is a numbers game. One of the reasons why American Lifestyle Magazine was so successful for us and has been for so many years, and our clients can attest for this, is that you know, with farming, when you get a postcard or you get a mailer in the mail, if it doesn't hit somebody at the exact right time, they tend to toss it. And so what happens there is it's not that it doesn't serve a purpose, but it's kind of like you get just a split second to build that mind share. So it's critical that you do it so consistently, but you have to play the numbers game. I'm going to share a personal story of my brother. My brother started out farming 250 homes, not a ton of success. It wasn't until he went to a thousand homes that he started to get a consistent trickle of leads coming in off of his farm and I'll talk a little bit more about that as we go through the webinar so you want to look and I always encourage people you at least want to be in the 250 to 500 range when you're starting to farm people because you got to make this commitment to where you need this volume to get the results consistently that you're hoping for third thing that you want to look at is turnover rate you can see this by the MLS, so you can go on your MLS and you can look and say how many homes sold in this area over the last year. Meaning if you choose a farm of 100 homes and 30 homes sold a year, which would be outrageous, but 30 homes sold in the last year, 
there's your turnover rate right there. And you want to choose, a, and I talked to Tom Ferry about this yesterday, and I've always said 5%. He said between 4 and 6%. And he said the only time he recommends going into a farming place that's 4% is if you're farming million-dollar homes. So that should be a sign for you that you want to be higher. You want to be around the 6% turnover rate. This is the amount of homes that are selling a year. Because here's the way to think about it. If you're farming 500 homes, and in that 500 homes, 20 homes or 30 homes sell a year, that's 30 transactions that you should capitalize on. That's 30 transactions that you know there's going to be 30 transactions that happen in this neighborhood a year. How do I get my hands on those transactions? So you want to go and choose a farm that has a turnover rate of at least 5% or higher, and obviously the higher the better. Why does farming work though? If you don't understand the why, you can't understand how to execute on the marketing. Farming is all about mindshare. So guys, I'm going to do a test for you right now. When I say electric cars, what is the first company that pops into your mind? Go ahead and chat that in. When I say electric cars, what's the first company that pops into your mind? It's so funny. I'm looking at these chats coming in. There is not a single chat. Okay, I'm, uh, too many are coming in too fast. I want to make sure I'm not over-speaking myself. Okay, this is crazy. It's Tesla, 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 Tesla. Like, I probably have 100-something just chats that just came in. I get a Prius. I get, somebody said Porsche. That's awesome. Porsche doing electric cars. So, Tesla is so, I mean, there's probably 90% of the people here are saying Tesla. Talk about Mindshare. If I said internet search, who do you think of? You probably think of Google right now. You're thinking of Google. You as a real estate agent, guys, when you go to the community you're farming and you say real estate agent, man, you've got to be number one. In fact, the statistics show that 76% of consumers will choose the first company that pops into their mind. So if I say internet search or you need to go search something on the internet, 76% of you are going to go to Google. I would argue 98% of you are going to go to Google. 2% or guess what? They're going to go to Bing. You don't want to be the Bing agent. You don't want to be the second agent. And the truth is 24% are going to choose the second agent that they think of. There was this test done. If you guys go and listen to the podcast, I interviewed this coach, Bubba Mills. So he's an incredible coach in the real estate industry and he talks about this test that was done on a neighborhood. This is so powerful that will drive home the power of farming. And they went and they surveyed this farm and they said, who's the number one agent in the community? So everybody answered and gave their name of the number one agent. And then what they did is they did a marketing test and they did an eight by eight campaign on this farm, meaning they sent something to this farm of value every week for eight weeks. They created a fake agent and they did an eight by eight campaign. They then circled back after the eight weeks and surveyed the same farm group. And guess who everybody said the number one agent was? The fake agent. This person has never sold a home. It's a fake person. And the consumers are all saying, oh, the number one agent in this area, that's this person. It's fake agent. If that doesn't tell you the power of branding and the power of mind share, I don't know what will. The power of farming is in the fact that you are building mindshare with these people, that you are consistently over time creeping into their mind to where you become the Tesla, like Tesla is to electric cars, you become the Luke Acre to real estate. When people think real estate, they think Luke. When they think Luke, they think real estate. And you do that consistently. The key to farming is in these three principles right here. And this is what you have to drive home. So all my people, what was it, 58% of you said you're farming? If you're not getting the results you want, I guarantee you it's in one of these three categories that you're failing. You're either not consistently enough keeping touch. I always say know, like, and trust. You've got to get people to know you, like you, and trust you. Tom Ferry did another spin on it yesterday. He's on my mind, so I just want to share with you kind of the golden nuggets he gave to me. One of the things he shared with me, it's, it was, you got to be consistent, right? And you have to have frequency, 
because frequency is what builds the trust. So if you're not having enough people come to you, if you're not in the mind of the people in your farm, you need to look at how frequently you're contacting people. If you're in a really competitive farm right now, and there's another agent that's also farming this area, you've got to out consistently reach out to these people. You've got to have more frequency than them. You've got to be on these people's minds more than them. But another way you can do that is not just by quantity, it's by relevancy. Write this down. This is, my, this is my key to marketing. This is how I guide my whole business. This is how I guide everything that I coach is the key to marketing is relevancy. See guys, if you buy a car today and you watch a car commercial tomorrow, that car commercial wasted 30 seconds of your life because you have no need for the car. See, the key to marketing is relevancy. This is why Facebook advertising, why they're making billions, because they have so much data that they can help you target down to certain individuals. The point is, the key is how relevant can you get to that consumer? And where I translate relevancy to is how much impact can you make in the minds of your clients? And impact is so key. Most of us think about our business through our lens. And the audit I want you to do in your business for 2020 is if you were on your marketing list, receiving the emails that you sent to your clients, the, the mailers that you sent to your clients, would you appreciate what you're getting? Would it cause impact in your heart and mind? Would it be relevant to you? Because if it's not relevant, doesn't cause impact, not a value, guess where it goes? It goes in the garbage can. Guess the amount of mind share you get? Barely any, if not zero. I always give this analogy to real estate agents to really drive it home. A garage door salesman. If a garage door salesman sent you a mailer right now, how would it impact you? If they sent you, here's what the average garage door cost in your area, the only chance that he makes impact there is if you're in the market at that moment for a garage door. The point being is, and I always, this always makes people a little uncomfortable, but it's the truth. Consumers don't view you different than they view a garage door salesman. Until you add value to their life and build a relationship with them and, and touch them in more ways to make them see you as someone that, man, this person gives me so much, I like them so much, they know so much, they're so knowledgeable, until you become that agent of trust, they view you just as a garage door salesman. There's no difference. You've got to get yourself into a position of trust with these people, into a position of authority with these people, and you do that through relevant messaging. What are you sending? Are you just sending just list of just solds? That does you really good to show that you're active on the market, but it doesn't do that great for the consumer if that's all they're getting. You gotta think in terms of relevancy and impact and the messaging that you're giving. And then third, your follow-up. It wasn't until I really started hammering home on this idea that you must follow up with people in your farm. I recommend to you guys that you should be door knocking your farm or reaching out to people in your farm at least once a quarter. You should be throwing an event for your farm once a year. Think about doing a block party. Think about the, what if you did this? What if you did a fundraiser type drive for your farm where you're hitting the farm consistently, but once a year you do a whole fundraiser for the farm. It gets you out in the community. You choose maybe a local charity to give back to the community. That causes impact. And now you're getting face to face with these people. You have to get face to face so they don't just see you as the person on a piece of marketing, but they see you as a human being because people want to do business with people they trust. People want to do business with other human beings. These are the three key principles to really, really having an effective farming strategy. So what I want to go to now is I want to share with you guys the strategy that I implement with agents. And this is not my strategy. Now, there are a ton of ways you can do farming, man. There's Facebook ads. You can do door knocking. You can do events like I'm talking about. There's so many creative ways in marketing that you can do. But what I want to share with you guys is a strategy that I have seen work. I've literally tested it. My, my own brother does it, my own flesh and blood. Like, I want you guys to know, hey, this strategy works. I've seen it. There's a book written about it. It's called the 12 by 12 strategy. This comes straight out of the millionaire real estate agent. If you have not read this book, this is like the Bible of real estate agents, but this book lays out this principle of the 12 direct strategy. And it's an incredible strategy of sending one piece to your farm once a month. And what they find in this book, but it's what I've seen to come true, is that 
literally the return on investment that people are seeing from this strategy is one transaction for every 50 recipients that they send this to consistently. And the key here is that you don't just do this one time. The key to this strategy is that it's holding real estate agents to the table going, I must implement a 12 direct strategy where I'm reaching out once a month. And what I have added to this strategy is the follow through either through one time a quarter door knocking and reaching out to the people or through phone calls or doing a block party type event once a year to get face to face. Adding the face to face component, the, the phone call component, the door knocking component was super, super powerful when I started working with agents on this strategy here. And what I wanna drive home for you and the reason why this strategy can be so powerful for you is because it will cause you to consistently reach out to your farm once a month, but it's going to make you have to think every month, what is that piece of powerful content that I'm sending to be relevant to my community, to put me in a position to be known, to be liked, and to be trusted. And you might be thinking right now, hey, well, what's the average return on investment that you would see if you do a 12 direct strategy? So if you do a 12 direct strategy over the course of 2020, and you commit to 2020 being your best year for farming yet, what's the type of return on investment that I can see? So what I did for you right here is just show you kind of pricing wise, if you did 250 postcards, for 12 months, it would cost you $2,850. Now, there are so many agents on this webinar that are spread all across the country. You guys have different you know, commission, uh, probably percentage that you're getting. Some of you might be getting 2%, some of you 3%. Your average home sale price is different, but I'm using some averages here. So if you send a 250 clients, using the 12 direct strategy over the course of a year, you should be getting basically five clients from that strategy. If your average home sale price was $200,000 at a 3% commission, that's $6,000 in GCI, you would be getting $30,000 in GCI. You can see that's $27,150 in your net ROI for just going after 250 in your farm. The key here is that as you do this direct strategy and this direct approach is that you're implementing Hey, once a month, I'm reaching out to these people. Once a quarter, I'm door knocking or I'm giving a phone call to the people. And then I'm trying to do some face-to-face -face events. It doesn't have to be like a block party. You don't have to go all out on a block party or spend money. It's as simple as doing something as simple as like a fundraising drive or a, hey, I actually have a buddy that runs Green Drop. It's a, it's a nonprofit where they get clothes donated to them. So you go and collect donations for a nonprofit. It's something to get you face to face with these people that allows you to translate and really capture on the leads that are coming from your farm. What makes me so excited about this 12 direct strategy and really where we're going here at Reminder Media and so excited about this webinar today is that, you know, as I go into farming, is as I've tried this more and more and more to help agents with their farm translate that into their database, I go, okay, there's no brainer money here. It works every time when you do it consistently, I see return on investment coming in. And then I go to, well, why are agents not doing this? What's the pain point? Why is it that people are not having success with their farm? That might be the question you're asking yourself right now. Meaning, Luke, like, okay, but why are we failing at this? Here's what I see over and over and over again. I already hammered home the consistency, but guys, I mean, it's crazy. It's people get a gym membership. They go to the gym one time or they go to the gym for three weeks and then they quit their gym membership because they're like, I'm not seeing any change. I'm not seeing any change in my body. I mean, that's lunacy. All of us would know that just speaking it out loud. You have to give it at least six months, if not a year, to see change. You have to be consistent. Most agents are not consistent. They slowly spend their way out of the business. The other is they don't do content that makes impact. Write this down. If you're searching for content, if you're wondering, how do I do content that makes impact? Think of the three E's. So write this down, the three E's. Send something that's either entertaining, something that's educational, or something that's endearing. So I'm gonna walk through that again. So you, if in your content, send something that's entertaining, educational, 
or endearing. So what's something that's entertaining? Something that's simple and entertaining? I'll give you a card that I've done for an agent. It was the local events that were coming up in the next couple months in their area. So like farm festival, get togethers, the local events that were coming up in the area that they thought that their farm might enjoy, that might entertain them, they sent out. That's something that's entertaining. What about something that's educational? Well, something that's educational, you guys are the best and you're the authority on real estate. You could do something that's educational on, hey, here's what the average home sale price is in the community. You could do something that's educational like this. What if you actually sent somebody something, you partnered with a local landscaper and you let them know, hey, look, when you do landscaping and usually around this cost, you can increase your home value by X percentage. So you're educating because you want to be the agent of trust. You want to be the person in authority when it comes to everything about the community and the home. So you want to educate them. It could be on mortgage rates. And think about, I mean, I'm getting tangential here, but it's so powerful. Think about your partners in the business right now. All of you have partners like a contractor, plumber, mortgage person, insurance, a home security company. All that, think of all the education that you could send to people about their home just from your partners that you could get included with you. And guess what? They could maybe even help you pay for that marketing because you're tag teaming it. So there's just so many creative ways that you can be educational and then endearing. I love endearing in marketing because there's this psychological effect called the halo effect. And so like I support Phil Abundance through Reminder Media. So we, you know, Phil Abundance, a food bank, we give back through our time and we do fundraisers and stuff like that for them. But Think about you and your community. What's the local food bank? What's the local charity? What's the local sports league, like the little league? How can you give back to the community that you're farming in? And what about sending them something on that? Sending them how you're, you're raising money for them or how they can donate or what this person's doing in the community. And it, it's awesome because you're literally endearing yourself to the community, but at the same time, you get the halo effect in psychology where they immediately start thinking you as better because you get a little bit of that halo off of the, you know, helping the charity. And I always make the caveat, you don't support charity just for the halo effect. I have to say that. I shouldn't have to say that, but I have to say that. But it's an awesome thing that you can do. And then the third reason that people fail when it comes to farming is they don't have enough time. Some of you are thinking, I don't even have enough time for this webinar that I'm on. They don't have enough time. And guess what? We're all given the same 24 hours in a day. And so these are the three pain points that I see is that they don't do it consistently. They don't know what content to do. So they just do just list of just solds or market updates. It's all they do. And they know it's, it's better than nothing, but it's not making the impact they want it to, but they don't have the time to do what they need to do. And that's why I'm so excited for this and what we're doing, because guys, you can do this. I want to tell each and every one of you, I know you can do this even yourself. I know you can make time and do this, but guess what? I want to do it for you. Like, I want to give all of my clients the ability, we have outlaid the 12 Direct program for you. And I want you to think that literally, guys, for 2020, I want your, if you're committed to farming in 2020, I want it to be the 2020 of farming that actually generates ROI for you. And you can set up your whole 2020 in literally less than five minutes. But here's what I want to share with people, and especially my clients on the line, is that, look, if you just want postcards going out or you know a mailer going out man you can go to Vistaprint and you can go and get postcards off of Vistaprint that is not what this is about that is not why I have moved Reminder Media into helping agents with their farming and to help people build solid relationships in their farm that they can move to their database what it, this is about to me is the strategy behind farming and that's why the most central point of our program here of a 12 direct program where we have created the content for you for each month that's impactful that's entertaining that's educational that gets you endeared to the community We've created all that for you, but the main central point that we're trying to get at is to make it so easy for you that you don't have to spend any time, and more importantly, that we can tell you exactly what to do, that you get a marketing expert when it comes to postcards that will teach you, okay, here's the mailer that's going out for you in the month of January. Here is the follow-up that you need to do. Not only here is the follow-up that you need to do, how many of you are nervous to go knock on a door? 
I mean, chat in right now if you're nervous, if it, if it scares you to go knock on someone's door in a farming neighborhood. Because that's, an, it, that's it, I mean, no one likes to get rejected, myself included. And I'm one of those weird psychopaths that doesn't mind cold calling. It kind of excites me. But no one likes rejection. So many of us don't cold call our people, don't go door knock because we're scared. I want to give you guys the tools. You're scared because you're not confident. And your confidence comes because you don't have the right tools, you don't have the preparation. I wanna teach you through our coaching and what we're doing, and the coaching's all included. You guys know that if you're a client of American Lifestyle Magazine, we wanna coach you as much as we can. That's included. We want you to spend your money on getting the valuable content out to your database. We wanna teach you how do you build rapport when you walk up to that door? You know, how do you carry yourself to where you have confidence, to where people actually wanna trust you? And it's, you know, what do you say? What do you offer to them when you actually go up to the door to get a lead? How do you get an email address? We want you guys to take advantage of the coaching so you can know how to follow up with it because if you just send out a postcard to somebody, it's called lottery marketing. You're hoping to hit somebody at the exact right time where they're in the buying mode for whatever on that postcard and you hope it hits them and they reach out and they raise their hand. What this is, is this is called a marketing campaign a marketing strategy where you go, okay, I'm hitting this area where we've targeted a list, we help you build a farm, we help you target it, maybe you wanna target $250,000 homes, people who've lived there for seven years, you wanna go after people who make $100,000 or more, whatever the demographic or geographic information, we work with you and your business to target that area. We then set you up on the content, teach you about the content, and most importantly, then teach you how do you capitalize on this to follow up and to get leads in your database that you can nurture and turn into a transaction for your business? Because that's the key. If it doesn't return ROI, you shouldn't do it. Our pricing, guys, for you is insanely competitive, especially when you get up to, and I've looked at all the competition out there, especially when you get up to the, the 1,000, 2,000 plus area, we're usually more cost effective than that. So depending on how much you wanna do, your marketing coach will work with you in order to set you up on your campaign so you know what's going out, how many are going out. Obviously, it's flexible that you can send as, you know, based upon where you're at in your business right now and you can talk personally with your coach about that because each of you are in different situations and we wanna help you and set a plan for you out of that situation to get you where everybody is farming at least 5,000 people. You know, another thing that Tom Ferry said yesterday that I thought was incredible was that you wanna see 10% of people in your database do a transaction a year. So think about it, man, if you have 100 people in your database, you should be getting 10 transactions. Man, if you have 10,000 people in your database, whoo, hoo, hoo, you get what I'm saying? Meaning like, we wanna help you build your database but don't build your database in a crappy way. Don't just throw names in your database. That's not gonna produce 10% for you. You gotta build a database that has strategy around it, that you're consistently reaching out, you're consistently building a relationship with these people to take them to the next level in the funnel to where they actually know you now, they begin to like you by the content that you send them, they begin to trust you because of the consistency that you reach out to them and how you actually position yourself. So for everybody on the line right now and our clients, you know, I wanna give you guys you know, basically a thousand names for free. If you wanna uh, build your farm and you wanna to commit to the best year of farming for you, I'm gonna pull this over here, this website, so you can see. You go to remindermedia.com slash farm2020 and I wanna give you the ability to basically claim this deal. So if you want to talk to a coach, look at the 12 by 12 direct plan and commit to a year of farming. Some of you already know, hey, I'm committed. If I'm doing farming, I'm committed. We want to give you guys and show you and give you a thousand addresses for free. Target it, who you want to go after, just as a thank you for being a client, for being on this webinar, to show you that we are committed to your success. And we want you to start farming them. We want you to start farming that thousand people and start working with you on the follow-up. All you have to do is go to remindermedia.com if you look at the URL up here, slash farm2020, and all you're doing is hitting claim deal, and all we're asking for is for you to put in your name, last name, address, phone number, even if you're not a current client of ours right now and you wanna experience this and you just pick a time where you wanna to talk to your marketing coach 
to walk you through this 12 by 12 direct program. And you can share with us what you're doing now. So if some of you are farming right now, we can learn what you're doing now and start even tweaking because some of you have unique situations that you're after right now. And we wanna hear about that so we can help you go, okay, you're actually doing a lot of things well, let's tweak X, Y, and Z and double down on this. So we wanna hear about your situation. So I want you guys to know you're gonna get this consultation where you sign up, you talk to this, um, basically we're calling them our postcard marketing experts. So these people are trained. I will tell you that we are, will not be doing this for a long time because we only have a couple of marketing experts trained up right now on postcards. This is not something, when I get into stuff, it's not something where I'm trying to sell just a product to you of postcards. Like I said, if you just want postcards, go to a Vista print, right? Where my specialty is and what we're trying to do is it's all about the customer service, the holding your hand, making sure we understand what you're going after, what your goal is. You guys chatted in some of your goals. That's, what's the, that's the key, is understanding, hey, what are you after? Where, where are we going? What's the goal? Okay, here are the strategies that are gonna help you get there. So all you do is fill out your first name, last name, email address, phone number, pick a time, pick a day of the week that we can reach out to you and hit submit. We'll then have a call with you at that time. And going back, I see a question coming in of just what's the price. We'll work out with you based upon how many you want to do. Then we'll calculate that for you of what that cost would be for you for the year. And we even have pay as you go plans. So if you are someone that goes, hey, Luke, I really want to commit to doing 3,000 postcards for the year. But, you know, I can't pay for everything up front, but, I, you know, I can pay as I go. We have pay-as-you-go plans that we can help you with. So you guys just, I just want you to know that everybody is on the line. The key here is getting on the phone with your marketing postcard expert and walking through, okay, what are you doing currently for your farm? Walking through these principles. Where are you struggling? What's your return on investment been so far? If you haven't started your farm yet, we'll start with the basics. Let's start choosing a farm. We want to upload your transactions into Google Maps. We want to look at where those spots come up, where you've actually sold homes, where you have influence, maybe help you target those people. So again, let me go. It's ReminderMedia.com slash Farm 2020. So if you go to ReminderMedia.com slash Farm 2020, this is the website that will come up for you and you hit claim this deal, first name, last name, email address, phone number. And some of you might be thinking right now, you know, hey, what about the magazine? How does this fit into the magazine? You know, I wanna share with all of you farming, I'm gonna skip ahead real quick. Farming is amazing, and here's been my experience with it over the years, is amazing because it exponentially grows. And here's what I mean. If you guys remember like a pinwheel as a kid, in a pinwheel, if you look at the physics of a pinwheel and the, and the force and everything, it takes a lot of force to get a pinwheel started. But once a pinwheel starts going, it needs literally barely any force. It literally goes and builds by its own force. Farming is so much like that because when you choose a neighborhood and you start building the mind share, you become the Tesla of that neighborhood for real estate. All of a sudden you get your first listing. And guess what? Then you hold an open house in that neighborhood. So now you have another touch point where that neighborhood now sees you. We'll all teach you to do door knocking for that open house, which is another touch point. Then all of a sudden you sell the listing, you sell a just listed, or you send a just listed postcard as part of your campaign. Now you're hitting them again. Then what happens, guys, is that person moves into a referral state. So then we put them in the database for American Lifestyle Magazine or Start Healthy, whatever magazine you're sending to them. And guess what? The average return on investment is 38% with American Lifestyle Magazine. So that means if you have 50 people in a neighborhood that you're farming, that you've gotten into your database for the relationship side, which is sending American Lifestyle, that's 19 referrals that should come from those people. So that one listing turns into a referral of a referral and it just exponentially grows. And then before you know it, just like the pinwheel, and I mean this, all of a sudden, all this business is coming to you and you're just like, man, how did this happen? This is why you look at the top producers in your market and you go, man, how are they getting so much business? I'm out hustling them, I'm out marketing them. It's because they've put in all this effort to get this pinwheel going to where people literally just, all of a sudden they see your face over and over and over again. 
and you start touching them over and over and over again in ways that are impactful, where you're entertaining them, you're educating them, you're endearing yourself to them, but also ways that position you as an authority in real estate. You just sold this home, you just helped this client, here's what your home's worth, would you like a free CMA? Here's just a testimonial we got from our uh, post, one of our clients doing the postcards. First postcard went out to my past clients in Sphere. Really happy with how they turned out. A client texted me these pictures. It was so impactful, the, the postcard, because one thing I want to point out is you guys know the quality of American Lifestyle Magazine. We're not doing cheap postcards. I don't do anything cheap. And what I mean by cheap is I don't do anything that's going to make your brand look bad where you get the postcard out and the ink comes off of it. it we basically coat our postcards and UV coating. We're going to make it the highest quality so it represents your brand effectively. Amber was absolutely awesome for creating a just sold postcard. The entire process was fun and exciting. This is a great way to target a farm area precisely to your buyers and sellers. Cindy, I've been a subscriber of their magazine for my clients going on a year and have had huge success with it. Now that they have introduced postcards with such great pricing, I'm leaving my current postcard provider to come to them. Again, it's ReminderMedia.com slash farm. Man, I love you guys. Whether, whether or not you guys use us for postcards or not, um, and you know, my goal is to help you. I w I'm a business too. I want to earn your business. Just like you want to earn the listings of your clients, I want to earn your listing. I want to earn your business, but I want to encourage you that if you're doing farming right now, you must apply the three principles where you are consistently connecting with them. The most critical one is you're creating this impact and remember the three E's, entertaining, educational, endearing. How am I entertaining someone with this? How am I educating with this? With this? How am I endearing myself to them and to the community? That will help guide your content. And then, guys, you must follow up. The power, you know, I had Ricky Carruth on my podcast and I love this guy because of his, he is just unbelievable in his real estate business. He does over a hundred transactions a year, top producing agent in his state and his slogan, it's relationships over transactions. Meaning the key is in the follow-up because you got to build a relationship. You got to build a relationship with these people and you'll have different levels of relationship at different points in the funnel. The relationship that you have with your people in your farm is going to be a little bit different than the relationship you have with the people in your A-list that are getting American Lifestyle Magazine. So again, ReminderMedia.com slash Farm 2020. Super easy. All you're doing is selecting a time. You want to claim the deal to make sure you get it and select a time where we can reach out to you, where your coach can reach out to you. We'll walk you through everything from there. Just want to say thank you to a bunch of people, John, Kerry, Edwin, I, I'm going to butcher the name, uh, Arena, I think, so oh, man, I'm terrible with names, Ryan, Diane, just want to say thank you to a bunch of people that are, you know, choosing the time to, you know, really move their postcard and their farming forward. I guess what I would say to you, 2020 is the year, 2020 is the year of uh, clear vision for your business, and you have your goal, so if your goal is 100 transactions, 64% of your transactions should be coming from your sphere of influence, should be coming from those referrals, from that repeat business. This is not what Luke Acri is just saying, even though this is what I coach. This is what the National Association of Realtors is showing data-wise. Not only that, if you, if you don't just believe that, let's follow the money. Uh, agents who make $150,000 plus a year, over 60% of their business comes from referrals. So when you look at your database, out of that goal of 100, man, 64% should be coming from your sphere of influence, from your referrals, from your repeat business. We can help you with that. I want to coach you on that. If you're not getting that success, we want to first and foremost post, point you there because that's the majority of the deals. For those of you who are knocking it out on that or already have the plan in place, you're already working with us there, hey, let's now go, hey, what are the other lead generation sources? A tried and true method is farming. Farming is a long-term game. I'm not promising you one mailer goes out and you get a bunch of deals that rain from the sky. But I will promise you this, if you implement the three principles that I'm talking to you about, you will become the Tesla of that neighborhood. When they think of electric cars, they think of Tesla, 90% of you guys did. When they think real estate, they gotta think of you. That's the key, man, gut check for everybody. All your friends, all your family right now, if you said real estate agent, would, their, would your name pop into their mind? 
all your sphere in your database right now, if you said real estate agent, would your name pop into their mind? That's what you're trying to do from a marketing standpoint. You're trying to build that mind share and you're trying to position yourself as the agent of authority and trust so they want to come to you because when they think investing, they think, oh man, I need to go talk to Luke. He's always talking about the market and man, he sent me this great thing. In fact, I talked to, this is a spread across industries, man. I talked to a guy yesterday in the financial services arena. He's a VP of practice management for a brokerage and he manages 750 financial advisors. And he said, Luke, he gets our magazine from his advisors. That's why he had reached out to me. And he said, Luke, my advisor never talks to my wife but the magazine has ended up in the hands of my wife, which got my advisor talking to the wife and it made all the difference to make that connection to where now my advisor is having a great relationship with my wife. So they're connecting to both halves of the relationship, meaning like the key is that it's all about consistently connecting with people, creating impact with them so you can have a conversation with them and build that relationship because you know, I tell my brother this because obviously you guys know his story. I talk about him all the time. You know, I love doing, you know, a lot of stuff with him. He's three years into the business. And just an update, if, if people are following along, I believe he closed out at the end of the year at 105 transactions his third year in the business. And I told him one of the things that was frustrating with him is the, he goes, man, he lost some deals to people using their friend, even though he's the better agent. And I was like, Steve, I believe you are the better agent, man. You're, you're more educated, you're, you're hustling harder. I said, but you're never gonna win the battle with a person that has a real good, solid relationship. They're always gonna, they're gonna use their friend. You've gotta get yourself into a position where you're also friends with them. And then it's on, hey, I'm friends with this one, but Steven has the knowledge. So I bet you guys have experienced that same problem where it's like, you know you're the better agent, you have the better reviews, you have all those things, but you haven't built the trust, you haven't built the relationship. So again, uh, remindermedia.com slash farming. You guys could tell I love this stuff. I could talk about it all day. It is, uh, I just saw a question come through that it's record, you know, is this recorded? It is recorded. I'm gonna open it up to some questions right now. Um, you guys have been amazing. So many of you have stuck on through the whole webinar. It's amazing, just the attentiveness and everything. So I want to open it up. I'm going to send the recording out to everybody. Uh, but let's open it up to some questions. I'm going to get some water. And Maggie's going to facilitate the, some of the questions for us. I know we can't get to every question, but we'll take a few here and then we'll follow up with you guys. Luke, to start off, we had a lot of questions about the deal. Can you just go over the um, free addresses one more time, that part of the deal? Yes, yeah, so great question. So what we're doing is we are giving you, if you guys choose to mail out and use our postcards, we're giving you a thousand free addresses. So we wanna help you build an effective farm. So we have a, a list building tool that will help you select by demographics and geographics information to target. So we'll give you a thousand free addresses. Normally you have to pay for the list building tool per address that you buy, but anybody who claims this deal, and it's up to a thousand. So if you don't wanna do a thousand and you wanna do 500, I would encourage you, get a thousand, obviously, take advantage of the deal. But if you have 500 people you wanna go after or something like that, we'll do 500 for you. But we wanna give you a thousand addresses. So that means we will target, based upon all the selections that are offered in our list building tool, and you know that's income level that's you know demographic information of do they own pets do they not own pets like you know it, where are they at and we'll give you that address that you can start marketing to uh, for your business so anybody who mails out with our postcard we'll give you that just for claiming this farm 2020 deal for being on this webinar and i just want to point out like we're not going to do this forever because I have to see, I want to see of all the people, we've been doing this for a while now, testing things, doing stuff. I want to see with this batch of people that I get on to work with at this level of the game, you know, I want to make sure that we give full attention to them and they have a marketing coach that can answer their calls and everything. And I only have, but so many marketing coaches trained up as experts on postcard marketing. And so I just want to make sure that, you know, get in now because you're going to get a marketing coach and I can't. I only have so much bandwidth, I guess what I'm saying, with them in an eight hour day that they can be on the phone coaching you, doing webinars you know, with you, FaceTimes with you. And so I wanna make sure that they have enough bandwidth to do that. And then obviously I wanna train up more people so I can reach more and more agents, but this will be limited because I just don't have so much, but so much space with each 
marketing expert, but it's a great question. Our next question is from Jessica. Is this recommended for a new agent with no transactions? I would say absolutely. So this is a great way. So you have no transactions. So farming is a great lead generation strategy that can help start building your brand awareness in the communities that you want to go after. So since you're brand new, we want to walk through, you know, okay, what type of transactions do we want to go after? We want to do a little bit of coaching with you on what's your unique value proposition, you know, what you know today. We want to learn a little bit about your business, but 100% this is great for a new agent because you're new, you have no transactions, so there's two areas I want you to focus on right away. One is I want you to start working your SOI. You might not even realize you have a sphere of influence that you need to get into a database and you need to start reaching out to and making sure they know, hey, I'm here to help you. I want to have a solid relationship with you. How can I help you if you need anything in real estate or even apart from real estate? How can I help you? We'll teach you how to do that. But we want to keep building this database because if you remember with my comment about what Tom Ferry said, your database, you should be turning basically 10% into transactions a year. And so we want to help you build a really good database. So farming is a way to do that. So everybody who raises their hand moves into your database of people that are going to generate referrals for you, that are going to do repeat business with you, that are going to do current business with you. And so farming is a way to start generating leads consistently. The scary thing for new agents when it comes to farming is the money you think to yourself a whole year. And you go, man, a whole year, that's a lot of money. I haven't made any money yet because I haven't sold. you got to lead with revenue in mindset. And the, and the truth is you got to think about it. And I'll go back to that return on investment side so you can see. So let's say it's $2,850 for the year. So depending on the form we build for you and the listing price, you may be circling 200000 down here. Well, 3% of 200000 is $6,000. Now you have your split in there that you might have with your brokerage. You have some other fees that you have to account for in there. But man, one of the things that I heard is that every single one of you would probably give 25% of your commission away, a referral portion of your commission away for an easy layup sale. Meaning, if you had an easy layup, you'd already, you give 25% away for that easy layup. And so the way you think about it is go, okay, do I pay my 25% now or do I pay it after the transaction? The point being is $2,850 is not even half of that $6,000 commission of one home. If you're only getting one home, well, you're, I mean, you're not, how do I say this politely? You're not hustling enough the right way. It's not just about hustle, but it's hustling the right way, meaning you're not putting in the hours on the phone, you're not putting in the hours in the door knocking, you're not, putting, you're not adding to your database. All these things I'm saying to you in the sense of you need to get on the phone with your marketing coach so we can help you, hold you accountable because when you have your 100 deals, let's say it's your new agent, your, your goal this year is 30 deals or 25 deals, put you in the top 3% of real estate agents. Your, your, your goal is 25 deals. Where are those 25 deals gonna come from? 64%, we should come from your SOI. The other, let's try to get them from your farm. And then, okay, in order to get the other from your farm, well, how many phone calls do I need to make? How many, how many door knockings do I need to do? We start then breaking it down to your activity that you need to do every single day to get you there. That way you're not just like, well, I sent my postcards out, now I'm sitting on the couch waiting for things to come in. We, that's the, what I want to get across to all my new agents, even veteran agents. This is about the do the activities, run the plays that generate results, as Tom Ferry says. Do the activities that generate results. We want to coach you on those activities. So long-winded answer to... Farming is a great thing for new agents to build their brand, but you got to be committed to put in the activities and the works, and we'll show you what that is. Whether it's you're com more comfortable in door knocking, phone calls, events, we'll start walking you through that. And for a new agent, I, I mean, sorry, it started echoing there for a second. For a new agent, the thousand addresses, meaning we're going to give you a, a thousand addresses for a free farm. So you're going to get a free farm up front of a thousand addresses. That you, can, that you can go after and send, and send a postcard to. So yeah, I just want to point out the value there for any of my new agents as well. Great. We had a lot of questions. Do you have to pay for 12 months up front or can it be paid monthly? So the farming can be paid as you go. So you can, you know, even if you want to say, Luke, you know, I want to get the bulk rate of, you know, mailing this many postcards, 3,000 postcards, but I can't pay for it all at once, we'll work with you. 
uh, to do that. If you obviously pay up front, there's a discount. If you pay all up front, your marketing coach will walk you through that depending on the volume that you choose because we want to obviously reward the people who, who are committed and pay fully up front. But I totally understand needing to pay as you go. And also, you know, you're going to get a transaction from this, so it will help pay for itself. So you can pay as you go monthly. And we'll work with you each if you have an individual situation. So we want to make sure that we are not adding any burden to you, but we're empowering you and giving you the tools you need to close deals. Our next question from Deb. Can you give some examples of the content that is on the cards? So I will definitely give you examples of the content on the part, uh, card. Sorry, I got distracted. A chat came in that said, so 2850 times four is $11,400 yearly. Um, so no, that would be for yeah the whole year. 12 months would be 2,850 would be for the whole year for 250. Um, I'm not sure if that question was involved with going up to 1,000 names if you were going for 1,000. But again, think about it this way. If you're going for 1,000 for the you know, 11,400, if you're doing 1,000 names and you're going off of the return on investment, I'll pull this calculator up so everybody can see it. So 1,000 homes that you're farming and you divide that by 50, that's 20 transactions. 20 transactions times a $6,000 commission, GCI. Now again, keep in mind, we gotta be real. You're not getting all of that $6,000. So there is gonna be splits going out and stuff like that, but you're generating $120,000 in gross revenue for yourself. If you're doing a $200,000 listing. Now that seems like, oh my goodness, that's so much money. Guys, the truth is, like when you start functioning like business is math and a science and these things, literally it breaks down into, hey, if I do the activities that produce these results and you stay consistent in it, these are the results you can have. Why can I say that with such conviction and confidence? I can say it with confidence because my brother, the first year in the business, did 35 transactions. His second year in the business did 78 transactions. His third year did 105 transactions. And he's spending $3,000 on internet marketing. I should do a webinar just on internet. He does postcards, he does internet marketing, he does the magazine, he does so many things. He spends $3,000 a month just on internet marketing. And he's in a rural area. Like I think his average home sale price is like 175,000. Uh, so, so the point being is like, you, you can spend this money when you're making money, but you need to lead with revenue. So I know the numbers are scary when you put them out there, but I just want to encourage you. And I don't want to scare you with those numbers. I want to work with you. I want to work with you. I want to talk to you. I want to get you on the phone with the coach. We don't want you to, to feel any type of pressure from the standpoint of, hey, you're, you're having to spend all this money. How am I going to make money? We want to give you the confidence to do the activities that are gonna generate you the money. So, sorry, I saw that question got in and I got a little distracted. So back to the content, I think it was. So content on the card. So you can see some of the ideas up here on the screen. So you see here in September, it's what your home's worth. So getting people to uh, uh, you know, ask for a free CMA, what's a comparative market analysis on what my home's worth. You got energy saving tips here to be educational. You have things like spring cleaning. So there's a ton, a myriad of different content options that we will do for you in your interface that we will set that you don't have to even pay attention to that we'll do for you and we'll teach you how to do the follow-up on those so the main thing that i want you to understand is that it's going to fall into those three categories that entertaining that engaging or that entertaining that educational and that endearing we're going to have to work with you to know if you want to go localized for the endearing. So if you want to partner, and I encourage all of you to, if you want to do a local charity or something like that, we're going to have to work with you. And that's why we got to get you on the phone with the postcard experts. One of the reasons why this deal is not going to be forever, because it does take us a lot of effort and a lot of work to make sure these programs actually work for you. Um, but we want to work with you to get the charity that you want to support if you want to do something endearing there. Otherwise, we're going to do endearing things that will help you connect with them at a relationship level that's maybe on a bigger scale, a national scale. So that's just some of the ideas of the content that you'll get. So we'll take one more question and then everybody, I know there's so many questions coming in because I see questions being chatted in. And so we'll get to your questions. And if you don't get your question answered, I apologize. We'll get to them or your marketing coach will get to them. But we really, really appreciate all the, all the questions. Um, question from Peggy. Can we submit our own addresses? 
Yes, absolutely. So if you have a form that you're working, you can submit your own addresses um, and we'll work with you there on that. So no problem at all. And depending on where you have it, if you have it in your CRM or Excel, we have export in ex instructions for like 70 of the top um, software out there. So we'll teach you how to do it. We'll walk you step by step. If you're not sure how to get your addresses into our system, we can teach you how to do that. This is a great question. All right, I do want to tease something real quick. For everybody who has stayed on, we have a huge product reveal coming. That I Trust me, you're not going to want to miss this product reveal. It has been something that I have been working on for so long. So often people don't understand the years of just blood, sweat, and tears that goes into bringing some of these products to fruition. And, you know, sometimes in theory, the product seems very simplistic, but to make sure we've tested it, vetted it, it works, we're doing the right thing. It takes a long time and, you know, I'm partnering with some of the best in the industry to bring this new product. And I don't want to give too much away, but I'll give you a hint. I want to make you the local expert in your community and I want you to be able to have it and not spend too much time and I want your clients to freaking love you and make sure that it connects you to the community and so this product has to do with that. I want you guys to register for our webinar and for our big reveal. If you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, we're going live there too. We're going to have thousands of people on this product reveal and I want our clients to be the first to see it. I want our clients to be the first to utilize it. We have it in beta right now for a bunch of clients that we've been testing it with. And I just don't want you to miss out on it. It's January 13th at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, remindermedia.com slash 2020 reveal. It is coming and it is all, I have someone just chatting in, tell us now. I wish I could, it's, it's killing me. To, this is called marketing. I'm trying to give you the teaser. So, but don't miss out on this, on this because it's awesome. I'm gonna to try to do it like Steve Jobs. I might even wear a turtleneck, but I wanna walk you through the product. I wanna make sure you guys see it. I'm super excited about it, man. It's been something that clients have been asking for and asking for and asking for, and I've just never been able to do it right. And now we can finally do it right. And, and where this product is gonna go is unbelievable. Just the beginning. Like this product has so much potential to help you build super strong relationships with your clients. So guys, please tune in January 13th, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard. Thank you so much for listening. Please follow us on social. Please follow me on social. Reach out to me, DM me. I wanna answer your questions. If you're on Instagram, pull out your phone right now. I'm at Luke Acri. You know, I, I post a ton of content on there all the time, but I want to hear your questions. Even the stuff that's not working for you, that, that you're struggling with. Like, this is real stuff. I'm a real human being in King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. You know, I'm a, I'm a salesman. I'm a business owner. I'm someone who is working hard to make sure that you're having success because you're success, then I have success. You guys have success with this farming. It, it makes Reminder Media bigger and helps me obtain my visions and my goals. And we're in this together from that type of relationship. And so I just wanna make sure that you're not just buying a product, but you know who we are. You're buying into us. And I wanna hear from you. DM us, follow us at Reminder Media, you know, Facebook Reminder Media. I'm Luke Acri, so if you follow Luke Acri, at Luke Acri, Acri spelled A C R E E, listen to the podcast. Tom Ferry's podcast is gonna be awesome. There's so much gold in Tom Ferry's podcast, but we have Danny Morrell coming up. We have Brian Casella coming up. We have so many huge guests coming up that it's awesome. So staypaidpodcast.com. Please check that stuff out. And just whatever you need, we have so many free resources on our website. If today's not your day where you can partner with us, that's okay. We want to partner with you and give you all the value that we possibly can because when the timing's right, we know we want you to think of us. Just like you guys want people to think of you when it says real estate, when it comes to marketing, we want you to think Reminder Media. It's the same game. You guys get that? Like it's the same thing. I'm trying to practice what I preach here. So I want to give you guys a ton of value. Can't thank you enough for listening. Till next time, guys, remember the difference between a top producer and a mediocre producer. In every single industry we work in, we work in 160 now. In every single industry, top producers take action. They don't just listen. They put into action what they've heard. So take action on something that you've heard today. Put it into action. Start changing your life. Let 2020 be a 2020 where you have perfect vision for your business. 
clarity. You're not on a hamster wheel. Love you guys. Hope you have a great 2020. Until next time.